My name is Amos uh, Oletinina. I'm uh, a guide, I'm a naturalist here, and also a cultural ambassador for the Maasai out here. And I've got a little story to tell. And the story that I'm going to tell is a story about the origin of the Maasai. The Maasai people are a people of the cattle. They are pastoralists. And this goes back to the uh, origin of the Maasai as a race. We believe that we come from the, no from, from the sky. We believe that God stretched down from the sky all the way touching the ground to a boma, circular boma, as keen as a road, like a road, like a path, all the way from heaven. And down we walked with our cattle, men and women. And that makes uh, it us to believe that all the cows in the world belong to the Maasai and that nothing can change that. It's a belief. Uh, Maasai have got cows and that's a backbone of the, uh, of the whole society. That's their account. That's their uh, the source of food. Um, we move our cows from place to place in search of pastures, fresh grass and water. Each time there is rain, we, we move to that place, constructing an enclosure out of bush from uh, acacia trees that have got thorns that would prevent predators from attacking our cattle. Our main food is uh, nothing short from what we get from a cow. That's milk, meat, uh, and blood. That's our main source of food. Uh, we don't have to kill a cow to get blood, not at all. That's being so selfish and we, it means that we'll be parasiting on the cow. We want to sustainably use the cow. So we get the blood from the jugular vein. I'll have a special arrow, you know, shoot it through the vein and the blood psh, comes out. We draw the blood, just enough for us for that day. We do the same to another cow. We have maybe 50 cows. Mm -hmm. So before you go to the, to the last cow, you, you know, it's taken from 50 cows. Sheep and goats are for, really for the meat every uh, other day. But, but cows is for the big ceremonies where a lot of people are invited to come and have a feast of the cows. Uh, Maasai uh, believe in a god but not yet religious. We don't go to church. We, be, we pray any time of the day. We especially give sacrifices to God when we have drought and famine and land. So to appease God, to send down rain, we slaughter unspotted lambs to the gods. We roast it on the open fire uh, with the use of firewood from the African olive, which we regard as holy and we leave it open, in the open, for the night. And whatever takes it, we believe that it's God that has sent to have the meat. Mm -hmm. 